Catherine Fior, EU reporter. I wanted to ask a question about one of those bilateral issues, uh, one that's very important for Norway, energy. Uh, I was wondering what has been the impact on Norway of the volatile gas and oil prices, and um, I was wondering what Statoil can do to help to maybe help stabilize this market. Thank you. Um, first of all, Statoil is a, uh, is a commercial company registered on the International Stock Exchange. We don't politically run Statoil. It's run by, uh, by its uh, board. Uh, so we don't believe that we politically should, uh, uh, should decide on what they are doing. Uh, Nor Norwegian economy, of course, is hit by the fact that we have uh, now the, uh, the oil price is now one fourth of what it was uh, mm -hmm. one and a half year ago. Uh, it's, it's especially uh, troublesome in, in regions of Norway. We have an increased unemployment in the southern and western part of Norway. Uh, we have had uh, a large restructuring in the, uh, in the service and supply industry towards the oil sector. Uh, of course, Norway has a large sovereign fund which all our oil income goes into, so it has not directly affected the budget. And we are doing counterproduct uh, we are doing uh, measures against uh, rising unemployment through our budget, which we are increasing the activity through the budget. Uh, but on the overall view, uh, it's important to remember that we are still have grown growing employment in Norway, and for half of our country, the unemployment is going down. So it's a severe regional disparity in Norway. It's difficult times in the oil and gas industry, but the basic economics of Norway is quite sound. And uh, of course, Norwegian currency has fallen nearly 20 percent. And um, uh, that means that uh, we are, through our cur the deflation of our currency, uh, getting a very much more competitive edge for other types of industries.